Your brother and your sisters are awake. Get that ball. Get that ball. Get the ball. Get it. Get it. Good morning, everybody. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You want me to throw it? <laughs> okay. okay, come here. You got to give it to me. We got a dog. We got a dog who wants to play. Ready? Get it. Good boy. Um. Oh boy. Look, he's like, Mom, Mom, throw the ball. Throw the ball. Okay. Um, anyway, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee Talk. It is Saturday, and you know what that means? That means I am headed to do my radio show, which is very exciting. Um, the list of songs that I'm doing this morning make me very happy. Um, and uh, you can listen to... Um, you can listen to the radio show live on Instagram from eight uh, at eight central nine eastern if you want just put on instagram watch the live video put it on in the background clean your house get breakfast ready whatever you need to do um and just listen to the music it's so good and my dog all right knocks um anyway so i wanted to tell you guys something about cutting toxic people out of your life um Having any sort of relationship with toxic people, whether it's a personal relationship, a professional relationship, a friendship, a lover, whatever, um, it, it becomes sort of an unhealthy addiction in a way. Your body, you almost become uh, addicted to the constant cycle of toxicity and I know what you're thinking no why would I become addicted to that I don't like it I don't want that in my life the truth is you do which is why it's there which is why you keep going back to it you leave you get pulled back in whatever let me tell you this cutting um, toxic people out of your life will literally transform your life and let me tell you when you do it at first it will feel like you went like cold turkey from like a drug or alcohol I'm not kidding. When you first do it, it it will I want you to know that it is normal. It is normal for you to almost go through withdrawal, for you to feel physically ill as you are distancing yourself from this toxic relationship. So when you cut the person out of your life that you know is bad for you and you have a physical reaction to the separation and you go, what is wrong with me? Why do I want to go back to that? Why do I miss that? Why do I need that? I want you to know there is nothing wrong with you. It is normal. Everybody who cuts toxic people out of their life, narcissists, emotionally abusive people, sometimes even physically abusive people, and they do it cold, they go cold turkey. It is an actual separation it is an actual process that your mind needs to decompress needs to go through needs to mourn okay you will feel like maybe you were the problem you will feel like if you were just easier to get along with you will feel like if you go back you can fix it you can not you cannot fix it nothing will change you will go back you will be temporarily satisfied, just like a drug or a drink. And you will then settle back into this toxic relationship that is not good for you. And you will feel like, what the fuck am I doing? Why did I do this to myself again? The scariest thing about toxic people is they can keep you in this cycle forever and we wonder what is wrong with us and I am here to tell you there is nothing wrong with you listen to what I'm telling you when you feel like 
um, if I know this person is so bad for me, how can I miss them? How, what is wrong with me if I want to go back to that? What does that say about me? Nothing. That you're normal. Because it is an addiction like anything else. And I had somebody in my life and we had an amazing relationship for three years. And the last year or so was not so amazing. But there were periods of amazingness. Days where the clouds would separate and I would get a fucking small glimpse of what we used to have. And we would laugh and have a, a nice exchange. And I would get sucked back into the what if. Can we go back? What if we, oh my gosh, look what it's like. It's, I, there's some sort of glimmer of hope and you become addicted to chasing that feeling. And then no, that person was an asshole. And I knew he was an asshole. And he was no good for me. He's not an asshole, but he's an asshole. And he, well, he's not good for me. And for a year, I went back and forth, hanging on to every text message, over analyzing, reading into things like, oh my gosh, is this it? Could this be it? Are we going to find our way back? Blah, 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 blah. No. No. And I did wonder, what is wrong with me? Why would I subject myself to this? Why do I keep doing this to myself? Why do I blah, blah, blah? Because it's normal. Because we're addicted to the what used to be. And y'all stop asking me what if it's family? Have you never met me? I, I don't talk to my mom. I don't talk to two of my siblings. You know I don't give a shit. If you are not good for my mental health, I can't talk to you. Yes, it hurts. Yes, I miss you. Yes, I love you. None of those things have changed. Um, but I'm telling you now, when you cut toxic people out of your life, it will transform your life. But first, it will make you think you are the crazy one. And I'm just here to tell you, you're not. It is all normal what you will go through as it's happening. It is all normal. And you will look back and go, this can't be normal. I don't understand. Why do I feel this way? And like, there must be something wrong with me. No. But what you need to do is make sure that you don't um, repeat the pattern. See, that's where I get a little tricky uh, for me, especially in friendships. Because I have needs that need to be fulfilled. And a lot of times I look for the same kind of friendship, right? That all encompassing, like we're best friends, blah, blah, blah. I've been much better about it as I got older, but I was always the, had a lot of friends on the perimeter, but always had that one best friend. And it got, a lot of times I was bringing toxic people into my space and I was blinded by it. I, I didn't see it. And... I let so many friendships go on way past the expiration date. So many friendships that I gave so much to. They were so one-sided. Uh, and that's a Jamie thing, you know? And I'm working on that specific thing. Um, but I just want you to know the most important thing you can take away from this coffee talk is when you cut toxic people off, and, and it feels like a withdrawal. It feels like you're going cold turkey from a drug or whatever. And you waver and you wonder if you should go back. And you wonder if you were too harsh and if you were the problem. And then you wonder why you feel that way. If you know someone that... I just want you to know it is normal. All normal. We all go through that process. Thanks for saying you like my mug. This was a mug that was made for... I think Michael by Max in 2014. So cute. Um, anyway, I love you guys. I have to go get ready for my radio show. 
Uh, but this is a really important coffee talk. I really think you should share this one. Um, um, you should share it. Somebody needs to hear it. But I love you guys so much. I love you. Have a great, great day.